If you have type 1 diabetes, why would you want to take medications specifically designed for type 2? Hello Nation, today we're going to talk about other therapies for people with type 1 diabetes. Now, before 1920s, if you came down with type 1 diabetes, guess what? You passed away. Look at this kid. He's wasting away. There's no insulin around. It wasn't discovered yet. And these poor children only lived a couple years at most, sometimes just a couple months. Then, Banting and Best won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of insulin. Since then, it has saved millions of people's lives. Now, insulin was discovered in the early 1920s, and it wasn't until 2005 that the second medication specifically approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the use of type 1 diabetes came about. That was called Simlin. And Simlin was previously detailed in an Edelman report last year, so I'm not going to talk about it too much today, but you take this with meals, it helps improve your postprandial blood sugar, reduce fluctuations. So we have two official drugs approved for type 1. The point of this Edelman report is that now people with type 1 diabetes are trying other medications specifically designed for type 2 diabetes. Now everything I say from this point out is not FDA approved. Do not take them without talking to your physician, their prescription items, but they are being studied for people with type 1. First one, GLP-1 receptor agonists, Bieta, and the once weekly formulation by Durion, and Victoza. GLP-1 receptor agonists. They're officially proved only for people with type 2. You take them, it helps reduce your appetite, it helps reduce your blood sugars after eating, reduces fluctuations, and you lose weight. It's an excellent drug. I think one of the most important classes developed for type 2 diabetes. Now, there have been patients that have been taking this. There's actually been some formal studies, not presented to the FDA yet. One study I'll tell you about, they gave it to a small group of type 1s. They reduced their insulin dose because it helped the blood sugars get better. They put them on a CGM and they saw reduced fluctuations, less highs, less lows. They used less insulin and their A1C dropped and they lost weight. So the drug companies are now looking at these medications in type 1 diabetes. A very important advance. Now the other medication that people are now trying off-label is Invokana an oral pill taken once a day, specifically designed for people with type 2 diabetes. I discussed this in a prior Edelman report that clearly showed how these drugs work. They make you pee out glucose in your urine that would normally be reabsorbed. Believe it or not, normal individuals reabsorb 40 sugar cubes a day of glucose, 180 grams. This medication blocks an enzyme that does that, so you pee out a lot of glucose. It works in type 2s, lowers their A1C, causes them to lose weight, and now people are trying them in type 1. The good news is we have more than just insulin. We have Simlin and potentially GLP-1 receptor agonists, the incretins, and SGLT2 inhibitors. It's a whole new era for us type 1s. So long, nations.